Hey guys, Lee Fraser here, my technical specialist for Autodesk. I wanted to share with you some of the tests that I've been doing using Cache Playback, which is new in Maya 2019. It is a fantastic new feature and speed things up tremendously and hopefully will reduce the amount of time you spend play blasting inside of Maya. I am let me share with you a little bit about the hardware that I'm using. I'm running a ZBook laptop, an HP ZBook laptop. It's got 32 gigs of RAM with an NVIDIA Quadro 5000 M in it, so definitely not a slouch in terms of hardware, but it's a laptop, and what I'm hoping this will do is give you a little bit of an idea of what you will ex you can expect in terms of what you'll get in terms of performance on your workstation. So I'm starting off in DG mode because I want to show you exactly how far we've come in a really short period of time. In a, from a performance standpoint inside of Maya. If I hit play on this scene, you can see that I'm getting about seven frames a second. I'm not taking advantage of the GPU. I'm just purely doing a single threaded playback and this is what we got up until about 2016.5, I believe if I remember correctly. So what we'll do first of all is just turn on parallel and write off all those deformers to the GPU and thread this guy. And, and you can see again, we get that triple, basically in this scene, a, a, about a three X speed bump for this particular scene. So this is what we have had up until today. We really don't, probably not the best idea for this scene to turn on the lighting and shadowing for viewport 2.0 or any of the anti-aliasing. And so that brings us to cached playback in 2019. I'm opening this up using the evalu evaluation toolkit the button down here in the timeline is probably the more convenient location to turn this on and off, but it goes off screen for Camtasia, which I should also mention takes a little bit of a, a resource in terms of uh, system bump and depleting my resources in terms of playback speed just a tiny bit. Uh, but anyway, this exposes the controls that I need to use for cache playback. As soon as I click on this checkbox, you'll notice that in the timeline I get this blue fill line that goes bi-directionally from my cursor head and that's set here in this background fill direction. It goes forward and backwards. And just like that, when I hit play, I get this just huge burst of speed from just the default state that it is in. So I'll stop that and talk about the other two modes. There is a software cache mode that takes advantage of the system RAM. This will give me another little bit of performance boost. As soon as that cache gets filled up, you can see it get close to uh, peaks at about 100 frames a second or 95 frames a second. And then if I go to hardware cache mode, we'll take advantage of the GPU. Again, we'll fill that cache up and as it plays back and hits that point, we you can see that that is actually a little bit of a faster mode. So that's probably going to be my best bet for my hardware. So definitely play around with those different modes and see what works best for you. I'll go ahead and hit stop. And also, since I mentioned the GPU, I'm going to go ahead and turn on those anti-aliasing and lighting and shadowing features that I get from Viewport 2.0. And I still maintain that tremendous speed bump way over the parallel mode that we had before. This is just a really great feature and I love it. Anytime you can make Maya go faster is a, a good thing. So hopefully this gives you a really quick snapshot of what you can expect. These are just some of the, res some of the results of my testing. Um, let me know what you think and hopefully you guys will get, a get to take advantage of this and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.